Hi everybody, welcome back to PC Daisy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a very nice little mod, and that is Daisy Rat, which not only introduces the vermin to our map, but also gives us the ability to um, cook, uh, well, capture them, skin them, put them on a stick, and have rat on a stick if we cook it, um, which is... Um, which is pretty cool isn't it so this is by the amazing hunter z so just so we can find this map let me just put on map, uh, map, rat let me just put on um esp and um, there we go there is there is a rat there so they're an ambient animal just like uh, hens are so as you're wandering around they will then proceed to uh, spawn in and then you can, you know, if you find, come across one, you can kill it, and then uh, have a have a small little uh, rat on a stick for lunch. There's uh, white rats and there are grey rats. So let me exit out of here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to install it on a local server, and I'm going to show you how to install it on a remote community server. Big believer of uh, using uh, local servers first on your PC because once you've got a mod working and installed on your local server you can then install it on your community server with the idea being that local servers are very easy well sorry that's the wrong word are easier to fault find than community than uh, remote community servers are because you can do everything much much more quicker so in the description below, below this video you'll see a link to my guide on creating a local server for your PC Okay, so let's install Daisy Rat on a local server. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Steam Workshop. Again, I'll put a link in the description below this video, and you'll want to subscribe to Daisy Rat. Now, there are no dependencies. Fantastic, it's a standalone mod, which is really, really cool. And then what you want to do is you want to fire up the Daisy Launcher. And then what will happen is Daisy Rat will then download. Now, again, I'm presuming you've already got your Daisy uh, local server set up, so all we need to do is... Uh, do a couple of steps to get it working on our local server so first thing you want to do is you just want to find out where your mods are stored so click on the three little dots here open folder in Windows Explorer and this will take you to your workshop folder inside your Daisy installation and all you need to do is go down to the Daisy rat copy that if you go up a couple of steps probably in the same folder the same directory you'll find your Daisy server so we can now go into here and then we would then paste daisy rat and there you can see so daisy rat is there next thing we need to do is take the key so go into daisy rat go into keys you would copy the key go up a couple of levels go down to the local servers key folder which is down here and we would then uh, paste that in i've already pasted it and that would do that that way and then the next thing we want to do is we want to go into Daisy Rat and you want to go into Rat Territories here and you want to open up the Ambient Rats README because Hunter's done a really good job in including a set of instructions on how to install the mod and importantly how to get it working so the rats will spawn because if you don't do these bits the rats won't spawn in um, and we can just follow what it says to do here so the first thing to do it says add these things underneath to your cfg environments.config in fact let me just come out of there i'll open it up in my favorite text editor which is notepad plus plus so add to cfg environments that's uh, cfg we need to add that and then we need to add that obviously he's made a mistake he's put rabbit there so in your local server if you just go up go up and then you want to go to your missions folder on your local server, which is here. Missions. This we're going to install this on a Chernerus one. So we're going to Chernerus, and we're going to CFG environment. So we just want to open that up in our favorite text editor. Go to the top, and you would copy the bit that basically says file path env um, rat territories.xml, and underneath the file path for all the other animals, make a little bit of a space and just paste it in like so. And that's just telling the game you know where to look to find where the rat should be spawning in then on the same uh file we need to add this bit here now he's put rabbit so we're going to ignore that but we're going to copy all of this here and then we just scroll down and underneath bear territories and the, the closing territory uh, argument we're then going to paste in the rat bit now i've just added a little comment there so in daisy xml files if you use a left um 
uh, arrow bracket exclamation mark dash dash that starts a comment then you can type something then you go dash dash right uh, arrow bracket and that, that, that the game basically ignores the writing in an XML file not in JSON just an XML so I've just said you know that's the rat so once you've done that you can hit the save button and that will do that and if we scroll down it says add to events.xml so the next thing we want to do on our server is go into the DB folder there's events so we want to open that up and it says under ambient hem class add these so you copy this event here go into events now to be honest I've just pasted it at the top on my one my one's there you can always be careful of um, how you copy and paste and remember you should always be going to an XML validator and a JSON validator to check your files after you've done stuff and that's the beauty of using something like Notepad++ because if you do make a mistake colors start to change and you can spot things quicker you won't spot everything but you'll spot most things so that's events done and then we scroll down it says in types XML so types XML is in the same directory as the events so we just open up types there's types and these are all the what well, basically the stuff that goes in types that XML is everything that should be spawning in on your server that, that will hang around so if we didn't add these bits in what would happen is if you killed a rat um, that or um, killed it and skinned it and put it in your backpack if, you, if the entry wasn't in types then that wouldn't hang around on a server restart or if you moved out of an area it would just disappear so it's always important if you're ever doing any of these mods that add things into the game generally there must be a types.xml entry if there isn't then, uh, then you've got to do it yourself um, don't, don't mess around with the nominals or anything like that because the rats spawn in as an event you don't need to have thing. I guess I'll tell you what though I'll tell you what you could do you could have dead rats spawning in couldn't you that might be quite interesting so like in farms and things you could have a dead rat spawning so you come around and there would be a dead rat on the floor that might be quite cool actually it's something for another day so that's that move the rat territories to xml to your daisy mission folder so what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, go back to where the mod is so daisy rat go in there go into rat territories and this is a churneris folder and he's done retros he's done territories for churneris livonian Malsk, iprit and banov it's going to Chernerus. We're just going to copy that file. Excuse me. Got a bit of an itchy nose. I might sneeze in just a second. Go into MP missions. Get go into Chernerus. Go to EDV. Right click, paste. <coughs> I do apologise. And yeah, so there we go. So that's the territory. So that tells the game where the rats should spawn. Now, because these are the local server, we need to make sure that the server is going to start with a rats mod and this is in your batch file or your dot bat file the file that starts it and what i do is i have a different batch file for every sort of uh, configuration of mods that i want a server to start with so i've got one down here which is telling the server to start with zombri on onto the churnerous map with the vanilla plus plus admin with the rat so if i open this up in notepad plus plus your batch file may look a little bit different to this but what it will have somewhere is a start line and in the start line you'll then have your mods so mine starts with cf zombie admin tools and vpp admin tools and then we've got semicolon daisy dash rat and then we close it up with the inverted commas um, and there we go and that's that so you then save that and you go back to server double click on your uh, batch file the server will then start with the daisy rat mod and then you can go and, and kind of go looking for them again when you're testing for the rats again they are an ambient spawn so although you can look in the um, territories file to see where they should spawn just bear in mind you need to kind of be outside of the area and then walk or run or move into that area and then hang around and then the rats will then spawn in ambiently just like um, the hens do okay so that's how you do it so next up let's look at installing daisy rat on a community server so what we're going to be looking at here is a um, nitrado pc community server out in the cloud the ideas are all, all pretty much the same so let me just go to 
So this is my the the uh, dashboard for and the settings for my Daisy community server. So all we want to do is go into the settings, scroll down, and we want to make sure that in the additional mods we've got um, semicolon at Daisy Rat. You want to stop the server before you do this. So just put in at Daisy Rat. So if you watch the bit before about a local server, this is actually the batch file. On I try to, we don't have direct access to the batch file, but this is that same line that makes sure that when the server starts, it'll stay with Daisy Rat. So we can add that on there. Um, but we haven't actually put any files on the server yet. So you want to fire up your FTP program and you'll want to connect to your server. Um, and then you'll want to, on the left hand side, this is my local PC. And on the right hand side, this is my remote server. And you just want to go to your Daisy workshop folder. Again, if you're not sure where your Daisy workshop folder is, just go to the launcher, click on the three dots in a mod, open folder in Windows Explorer. And if you go to the top of the screen and just left click in this bar, that will give you the direct address. You can right click, you can copy that. You can go to your FTP program. You can left click here. You can paste that here and that will take you straight there. I was there already, but you can see. So all we do is we scroll down, we go to Daisy Rat making sure that we're in the root folder of the server and just right click upload and that will upload all the files. If we scroll down, you can see I've already got Daisy Rat on there. The next thing we need to do is we need to put the key in the server. So if we scroll down and we click on the keys folder in the server and then in the Daisy Rat mod, click on the keys folder, there's the key. So we just right click upload and that will go over to here. It goes in there like that, which is nice. And then what we want to do next is we want to go down to the MP missions and we're going to add the rat territories file in. So this is a Chernerus uh, server. So we're going to click on Chernerus uh, down here. We're going to go into uh, ENV and then over here we're going to click on Chernerus in the rat territories and there's rat territories. So you see we've got all the territories here on the remote server. So we'd right click, upload. As you can see, I've already uploaded them. So let's put those over there. Now, what we need to do now is we need to edit the mission files so that the rats will spawn in. Now there's different ways of doing this. You could do it uh, in the file browser on the web. So you could go into your missions. So you go into MP missions. And remember, Chernerus is Chernerus, Enoch is Livonia. So you can click in here. And we need to edit the uh, CFG, uh, uh, which one is it? CFG environment file, types.xml, and events.xml. Now, the way that you know what you're doing <laughs> is if you go to your Daisy workshop folder again, and then go to the Daisy wrap mod go into the rat territories and then open up the ambient rats readme file hunter has added an excellent set of instructions so inside the cfg environments cfg we need to add um, these two snippets here that one and that one in inside the events.xml we need to add that one and inside the types.xml we need to add all of these so the way that I do it is I don't do it from here. Although you can, you can do it. There's nothing wrong with doing it from here. You, I actually do it from inside my FTP program. So yours will probably be able to do the same thing as well. So all I do is in my FTP program, if I just scroll down and I go to CFG environment and I right click it and say view edit. This will then open the file up inside my uh, text editor, which is Notepad++. So I can just go here and it says, okay, we need to add this at the, near the top of the file. So we copy that and into CFG environment, we just paste it underneath the bare one. I've already done it, but I'm just kind of showing you. And then we scroll down a bit and then this bit here. Now you notice he's made a mistake. He's put rabbit. We don't want rabbit. So we copy that. If you scroll down, this goes underneath the last um, territory herd setting for bear. So underneath there, make a bit of space, and then you can paste that in. Now I've just added a little little remark. Remember, if you do left uh, arrow bracket exclamation mark dash dash, you can type stuff, then do another dash dash right arrow bracket, and that's a comment. The game will ignore that in XML files, not JSONs, but in XMLs. 
So that's set up. So when I save that and then I go back to my FTP, it says it changed. Do you want me to re upload it? And you say yes. So that uploads it. Then the next thing I do is I go into the um, DB folder and we want to edit the events.xml. So I right click, view edit, that opens that up in my events.xml. And as Hunter says, add to events.xml. So we copy this. And I've just put it right at the top. Oh, sorry. We're going to put it right at the top. Right there. And be wrapped. Save that. And when I go back to my uh, FTP, it says it changed. You want me to re upload it? Upload it. Say yes, please. And then the next thing is the types. So we're going to right click, view, edit that. And we know that from with the instructions, we need to add all of these to the types of XML. Right click copy, go to this one. As you can see, I've already, I've already added these ones in. So paste that, save that. Again, F, uh, FTP program FileZilla will say this has changed. Do you want to upload it? Say yes. There we go. So we've added the mod files. We've um, edited the batch file right at the beginning. We've added the key. We've edited the XML files. So all we need to do now is go back to the server, hit restart server, and that is it. We have now installed Daisy Rat on our remote community server up in the cloud. In that case, and I tried it one. So there we go. Hopefully, you found that useful. I think Hunter's working on a snake mod next as well. So you know, just within Hunter's stuff, we're going to be able to have the rat the cat, <laughs> the rabbit, and there's going to be a snake, and the snakes will bite you as well. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.